Alright, so in my previous video, I was explaining about um, RSC curve, and I did uh, I left on the part where I was actually plotting the RSC curve, and uh, we were also seeing an example where we could we were generating a random um, data set of 1,000 rows and with only two classes. So if you take a look at this data right now, um, if you see this data, I'm just gonna go ahead and print the input data. If you take a look at this data, you can see that there's a big data set coming out, and we can also see the output of this data set, which is just ones and zeros. Use a thousand ones and zeros, obviously. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and um, draw the ROC curve for this data sets, right? So we have this our ROC curve for the original model that we trained our data on, right? So obviously, right now we are looking at only the ROC curve. If, if we want to see what changes can it, you know, can it bring to the ROC curve if, if we have a data set like this. So this is just a uh, make classification function is just a part of scikit-learn library's uh, data set uh, class. So what you can do is you can generate um, a random data set with uh, mul uh, multi classes or simply a binary classes. So that depends on how, how what kind of data do you want to generate. Right now I've just generated a random data set so that I can just go ahead and quickly just test my ROC curve. But what we need to do now is we just need to go ahead and first of all um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new model. I'm just going to call that model model and equals decision decision tree classifier alright and we were using uh, um, card algorithm so I'm just gonna go ahead and specify um, criterion and once you've done that you can see that our model is created and alright so I think oh I'm sorry I, I did uh, I did an opposite thing <laughs> We need to actually go ahead and put this right here, and this is exactly what it happens. And you can see now our model is created, right? So what I can do now is I can say model dot fit, and I'm going to go ahead and train the model on the training and testing data, right? And y underscore train, and then now we can just go ahead and copy and paste exactly what we did here, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this, copy and paste. All right. So I do this now. You take a look at this right now. Oh, I think it should be one. So you take a look at this now. You can see that now our model is quite accurate, and you can see the score of AOC is 86 percent, which is which means that uh, our model was quite accurate. You know, this is the accuracy. Yeah, uh, this is the area under cover score, and you can see it's quite close to one. So obviously our model is quite good at this, and we only used the 50 percent of data, but it still it was able to train on pretty well, and it's now able to classify it pretty pretty easily. And this is the decision tree classifier now you can do this for any example you want to do it for uh, let's say you wanted to actually do this for other classifiers which I'm gonna cover in next videos you can do that for that as well so now this is exact uh, this the purpose of this video was just to, just to show you that you can use ROC curve for plotting um, plotting plotting uh, the accuracy of your model and you know it's just a different example of another data set right so that's it thanks a lot for watching